Have you heard about this? In China and the US, you can now pay for things by simply waving your hand. It's called the Palm Payment System, and it's expanding quite rapidly. Tencent's Weixin Palm Payments have recently launched in Galaxy Macau, marking its first venture outside of mainland China. And while this may sound like new crazy technology to you, it does to me, it's actually been around for quite a while. Amazon has been using a similar system since 2020. What? I'm still walking into shops that don't take PayWave or tap to pay since we're palm payments a thing. If you're as intrigued about this as I am, why don't you stick around as I cover what's new about it, how it works, why it's popular, and some concerns that have arisen because of it. And while you're here, why not subscribe? No palm scan required, I promise. Just a simple click. Anyway, let's get into it. So if it's been around for a while, why am I talking about it now? Well, to be perfectly honest, I had never heard of it and the ability to pay for something with the palm of my hand intrigues me quite a lot and I thought it might intrigue you. But the main reason is because, as I said, Tencent's Weijing Palm Payment System has expanded to Galaxy Macau, marking its first application outside of mainland China. It actually started in May 2023, where it was implemented on the Beijing Daxing Airport Express Line in Shenzhen University and over 1,500 7-Eleven stores. The fact that it's now moved outside of mainland China could mean that the technology is rapidly expanding and you might be able to start paying for things with the palm of your hand sooner than you may think. Gyo Rai Jin, the Vice General Manager of Tencent's Weijing Pay Industry Application Unit, hell of a title, has expressed his confidence in the system, stating in a rather straightforward way, we have confidence in this. So how does it work? Palm payment systems utilize biometric technology to identify users. An infrared scanner captures the lines and veins in your palm to create a secure, maybe, maybe not, biometric signature you then link to your account. To register for the Weijing Palm Payment System, it's surprisingly easy. All you need to do is align your hand with a sensor, capture a QR code with your phone, and then link your account. From then on, all you have to do is hover your palm over the payment device and boop, there's your week's groceries paid for. Amazing. Similarly, Amazon's system, Amazon One, which launched all the way back in 2020, allows users to link their palm data to payment methods, enabling contactless payments in Amazon Go stores, Whole Foods stores, and other participating retailers. Amazon hopes to expand this system to all 500 plus Whole Foods stores around the US by the end of 2024. That's coming up. So why is it popular? Well, the appeal lies in convenience. If you can pay for things with your hand, you no longer need physical cards or your phone. The contactless nature makes it more hygienic and, at least according to the companies that are pushing these systems, the uniqueness of your palm patterns adds a layer of security. Tencent promotes its system with a phrase, Weijing pay scan payments is like waving at your friend. I suppose that's true if every time you wave at your friend, you're spending your hard-earned cash. But you can see what they're trying to say. It's all about ease of use. And to be honest with you, I think I'd probably use it. But despite the advantages, there are some significant privacy and security concerns here. Edward Santow, Industry Professor of Responsible Technology at the University of Technology in Sydney, Australia, again, hell of a title, warns of potential cybersecurity and surveillance risks. He states that when your personal data is hoovered up on such a large scale, it creates a kind of honeypot for cyber criminals. If such sensitive data was to be compromised, the consequences could be extremely severe. Both Amazon and Tencent assert that they prioritize security, encrypting palm images and allowing users to delete their data whenever they want. But critics remain skeptical, especially regarding the potential for misuse in surveillance. Santow states that people don't want to participate in some kind of surveillance state. But since when has that stopped us? Other companies are collecting our data left, right and centre every single day. And as long as the product makes our lives easier and more convenient, we just keep on giving it to them. So I can most certainly see when these palm payment systems reach people, they are going to sign up for them, security concerns or not. 
So, with Wei Jing's Palm Payment Systems expanding to Galaxy Macau, Amazon's Amazon Go rolling out across the US, Palm Payment Systems are expanding. But the debate over convenience versus privacy remains. Gyo Rai Jin expresses his confidence in Tencent's system, but public trust remains uncertain. What do you think? Would you sign up for a Palm Payment System if you could? Do the risks outweigh the benefits? Hell, you might have already signed up for one. Let me know what it's like down in the comments. And as always, why not subscribe? After all, it only takes a click. No biometric data required. Cheers.